Sylvia, we need your help. It is very risky, so if you don't want to do it, then I will understand. What do you want me to do? I want you to go to Oswald Bernstein and give him this photo. You need to get on his nerves, and I mean you must really annoy him. I do have that effect on him, even when I am not trying. All right, let's do it. Sylvia, to what? Hello, Oswald. I want to talk to you. I'm listening. Oswald, can you take a look at this photo? That is a very nice old photo, but what has it got to do with me? Do you recognize anybody in it? Sylvia, what is it that you really want? Stop it, Oswald. I know everything. Oh, dear. Are you having hysterics again? Poor Aldo. How did he ever put up with you? You think you are so clever, but I know what you are up to. And what am I up to, Sylvia? You want to inherit Molinelli Industries. You killed Aldo to inherit the company. What an imagination you have. You really are quite something. You'll get nothing. I'll see to that. Sylvia, you are starting to annoy me. If you have read Aldo's father's will, then you know that everything passes to me. Oh, really? Now you listen to me, you dumb, spoiled princess. I know Mario's will better than the back of my hand. I created it. Mario just signed it. So it is you who are getting nothing. Molinelli Industries will pass to me. I am the rightful heir. Anna, quickly, give me the handcuffs. So you really did kill him. You murdered my Aldo. I waited for this opportunity for many years. I have every right to own Molinelli Industries. But due to some twisted logic, Aldo had everything and I had nothing. Even though the corporation was founded by our grandfather. For his whole life, Aldo has lived in palaces, enjoying the fame, the wealth, the adulation. And me? I was a nobody, moving about with my poor parents, going without food for days on end, simply because my mother fell for a man she truly loved. But my grandfather did not approve. Do you know what it is like to work hard for your family? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Of course you don't, because everything was given to you for free. I worked as an accountant for 35 years in Molinelli Industries, working and working and working. I am a Molinelli. I worked hard for my family while Aldo did nothing. And now he owns the whole company and I own nothing. It is not fair. He dishonored the family name with his affairs and looted the company coffers to pay for your shopping, your new houses, your private tennis lessons. He had to go. You monster! He dishonored the family name. You stole from the family bank. It is not fair! I am a Molinelli. He had to go. You have to go too. Stop right there. Don't move. I am a Molinelli. They had to go. Luigi, put the handcuffs on Mr. Bernstein and escort him to the police station. I am the rightful heir. What I don't understand is how Mr. Bernstein pulled off something like this. Yes, he devised so many trails that led away from him. He almost fooled us. Miss Myers, how did you figure it all out? Well, let's begin with Sylvia. The problem was that Aldo's murder heavily incriminated Sylvia. It was too obvious. So I started to look elsewhere. 
I discovered that Mr. Verno's actions weren't always rational. I was framed! I know, but at the time, you looked very suspicious. Think about it. On the first evening, you were in a drunken argument with Aldo in the dining car. You were also traveling in the same carriage as Aldo and Paola. And you had visited Porto Cesso last week. Then there was the blackmail letter in your luggage. I've never even seen it. Can you show me the letter, Miss Myers? Thanks. This letter is very good. A devious red herring, and it sets you up with the perfect motive to kill Aldo. Correct. But everything looked too good to be true. When we found Oswald's photos in Aldo's luggage, and Sylvia told us about Mario Molinelli's estranged sister, all the pieces of the puzzle came together. So, how did Mr. Bernstein do it? And more importantly, why? It is a complicated tale. Aldo's grandfather, the founder of what would later become Molinelli Industries, had two children, Flora and Mario. Flora was much older than Mario, so when she found a man she wanted to marry, her brother Mario was still a young child. Flora's father disliked Flora's fiancé. He was opposed to their marriage and made her life a total misery. She decided to run away. She and her fiancé, Albert Bernstein, fled to South America, where Oswald was born. They were very poor. They often went without food for days at a time. Oswald's father could not cope with stress. He left the family, and the situation went from bad to worse. Oswald's mother, Flora, struggled on. She told him bedtime stories about his rich grandfather and his sports car company in Italy. She told him that someday he would return to Italy and take control of the company. He was a Molinelli. He was entitled to it. After law school, Oswald went to Europe and got a job in the company as a low-ranking accountant. Without revealing his true identity, of course. Because if there was no Aldo when Mario dies, the company would pass to Oswald as the only living descendant of his grandfather. Oswald wanted revenge so badly that he devoted his whole life to it. Oswald identified two candidates to frame, Silvia Molinelli and Fabio Verno. Both of them had plausible motives. He started with Silvia. The affair between Aldo and Paola was well known among Molinelli executives, so Oswald decided to set up Silvia, who was known to be jealous and suspicious. He wrote the anonymous letter telling her to board the train, but to remain invisible for as long as possible. Sylvia played her role perfectly, without knowing that Oswald was pulling the strings. Oswald chatted with Aldo until the train started to slow down. The main bricks are very loud, so he stabbed Aldo when nobody could hear him scream. He dragged the body to Paula's compartment and threw Sylvia's stolen earring on the floor near Aldo's body. After the murder, Oswald rushed to the cafe to chat with me, so that he would have the perfect alibi. But there was a problem. Vincent from the cafe had seen Oswald leaving Paula's compartment. Instead of reporting this to the police, Vincent decided to blackmail Oswald. He started following Oswald. He was the mysterious spy that I thought was following me. Oswald was wary of the threat, so he agreed to meet the blackmailer to pay him. He took the Porto Cesso knife from the cellar, and when he met Vincent in the tunnel, he killed him. He then put the real blackmail letter into Mr. Verno's luggage, so that Verno looked like the intended recipient. That is devious. I know. He also put the Verno tires documents into your luggage to further incriminate you. I have been uh, looking for them for so many years. Can I have a look at the documents? Thank you, Miss Myers. You're welcome, Mr. Verno. Anyway, let's move on to you, Mr. Verno. You were the plan B in case something went wrong with the Sylvia scenario. Oswald knew that Mr. Verno hated the Molinellis because of the Verno tires deal, and that Mr. Verno would do anything to get the company back. He wrote an anonymous letter to Mr. Verno, inviting him to Porto Cesso, 
and he offered help and information about Verno tires. The purpose of your visit to Porto Cesso was simple. He wanted people to see you here so that fingers would be pointed at you. Oswald used the Porto Cesso knife to kill Aldo, further incriminating Mr. Verno. The Sylvia scenario was going according to plan. Sylvia was arrested, Officer Cozzi believed she was guilty, so the mission seemed to be accomplished. But then, as more facts were discovered, the focus of the investigation switched to Mr. Verno. The more we dug, the more the facts clearly pointed at him. Yes, that's true. But at that point, Oswald started to get worried about my investigation. He decided to kill me. He dropped a huge stone on me from the building in the old town, but Luigi saved me. At your service, Anna. The final blow to Oswald's plans was the photo. He didn't know that Aldo had the photo of Flora and Mario. Did Aldo know that the boy in the photo was Mario? I think so. Aldo accidentally found the photo some time ago. Oswald had left his briefcase open and the photo was visible. Aldo recognized his young father in the photo and remembered the rumors about Flora. He realized who Oswald really was and got scared. Because if he and Mario died, then Oswald was the heir to the company. He became very nervous and that was what worried Paula. She had read some of my investigative reports and decided that I would be a perfect detective. So she invited me to the launch event. She wanted to talk to me on the first evening, but we were interrupted by Aldo. By the next morning, it was too late. Poor girl. Did uh, she really kill herself? Yes, she really killed herself. She really loved Aldo. Such a tragedy. Yes. What a terrible situation. Uh, Miss Myers, I must say, I was wrong about you. I admit, I couldn't have figured this out on my own. But I'm glad the case is solved and the killer is behind bars. I would like to thank everybody for their help, especially Miss Myers. Now, excuse me, I have Oswald Bernstein to deal with. The important thing is that we caught the killer. Without you and Luigi, it would not have been possible. So, how do you feel about Porto Cesso? You know what? The Molinelli car launch has been cancelled, so I can return to Zurich later. I think I will stay in Porto Cesso for a few days' holiday. Could you show me around? I would love to. A proper tour? Of course. This way, please. <laughs> 